Hi, my name is Bethany Hegedus, and I am super thrilled that Grandfather Gandhi is on this year's Texas Blue Bonnet Master List. You know, the message that I hope readers take away from Grandfather Gandhi, no matter what the age, is that anger is something that's not bad or wrong, as Gandhi shares with Arun, but it's something that can be used um, and channeled to make changes in the world. So we can take those feelings of unworthiness and when we talk about them with other people, whether we talk about them with our friends or with our parents or a trusted teacher, those feelings of unworthiness go away. We realize other people believe in us and it's really important um, to believe in ourselves. When Arun and I first started working together in early 2002, when the book first went out on submission as a picture book, publishers were wanting to have it be a middle grade story um, since Arun was about 12 when the book occurred. And I was really adamant that I first envisioned the book as a picture book and I wanted it to have beautiful illustrations and was totally wowed when we got Evan Turk to be our illustrator and saw how he brought grandfather to life, how he brought Gandhi to life, a historical figure, how he brought Arun to life as a young boy. And Arun has said that, um, you know, the story really came to life when those pictures were added. And so we're glad that both the words and the pictures are touching people. Uh, the book that impacted me most as a child, um, and still impacts me to this day, is To Kill a Mockingbird. It's my very favorite book, and um, many of you may not have read it yet. You'll read it in high school. One of the most important things that a writer can do is to read and to keep reading. You know, we learn our craft by um, the books that have come before us and absorbing those words. You know, once you read a story, it's a part of you. And just like I said, To Kill a Mockingbird was a part of me. Another book that's a part of me is Ramona the Pest. I love that book when I was young. And, you know, Black Beauty and Esperanza Rising and Holes and The One and Only Ivan, the books that I'm reading now that have come out in the last couple of years. The best thing a writer can do to fuel their their imagination, no matter what age they are, is to read. Thanks so much for having me. Bye.